Hello Aces, welcome back to module four, lesson number three, the number of seats to account for. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how much seating should you be accounting for for your restaurant. Now, why does seating matter? It is because it helps you accurately forecast how much revenue, potential revenue that you could make. Also, it helps you predict the revenue per service, whether it's lunch, dinner, or breakfast. Also, it helps you predict the turnover time depending on the number of guests and depending on the number of seatings. And of course, and more important, it helps you identify the labor you need for your restaurant. Now, there's a lot of variables to consider when choosing your seating. So first up, pandemic, okay? Next, your customer avatar, your location, your concept. Now, I'm not telling you to not have seatings and probably there are a lot of restrictions in place currently. However, as things eases off, then these are things that you should definitely consider as well. Your customer avatar, location, and your concept. So make sure you guys budget for that so you have the flexibility to add more seatings when everyone is vaccinated, okay? The seating rule of thumb. So for every 100 square feet for your location, you should be accounting for either three seats, 4.5 seats, or six seats. So if you wanna have a very spacious feeling that you people can have a lot of room to breathe, then you wanna be able to account for three seats for every 100 square feet of your location. On average, 4.5 seats. And if you want it to be a little bit cozy, people probably not feel too comfortable right now, then you wanna account for six seats. Now, for the same exact um, example that I was giving you, at 700 square feet, Ben should have a range of choice of seating by 21 seats to 42 seats, depending on the vibe and the environment that he's trying to create. As you can see, because for every 100 square feet, they should account for three. Every 100 square feet, they should be accounting for 4.5. Every 100 square feet, six. So that's the reason why we use 700 divided by 100 to calculate, to come up with this number. And in order for us to come up with the range of 21 seats to 42 seats. For our example, Ben decides to go with 30 seats to make it not too spacious, but also just a little bit more room for people to breathe. Now it is your turn to figure out how many seats you should be accounting for. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the difference between variable costs and fixed costs. I'll see you guys in the next video.